What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on the Need for Speed Heat app, Need for Speed Studio. So, Need for Speed Heat has not come out yet. Obviously, you guys all know. You guys are all following it. If you guys are a part of the community that watches my channel, you guys are definitely probably very excited about the game. I'm super excited about the game coming out as well. And they gave us the ability to actually customize cars and go through some customization and stuff like that before the game comes out. And then you can actually transfer it over. So the first car drop was actually a pretty big car drop. We got, you know, the Grand Sport Corvette, you know, your i8, the Type R, you know, the 240SX or 180SX. Then you have, you know, the Fairlady 240ZG, the Porsche. And of course, my buddy Renga is definitely going to be super excited because you have the Volvo 242DL. So we get a chance to actually look at all these cars and they're going to continue to drop more containers as the time goes. So super excited to actually get a chance to customize cars. So we're just going to go through a little bit of it today, you know, get a feel of what the customization is going to fully look like in the game. We're probably going to be doing that 240 and probably that Grand Sport which we need to download that Grand Sport. No, no, not that, not that one. We need to download the Grand Sport. Download Grand Sport. So, we're gonna take the Grand Sport to the workshop. It looks amazing, and it kinda just, it's kind of a cool thing to see this and actually get a chance to do this before the game comes out. And you can do this, like, say, when you're at home or whatever, if you wanna just, you know, start paint, making cars and whatever, stuff like that. Oh, they can do flake and everything too? Alright, that's sweet. So you could do stuff like that and then transfer it into the game when you're done. So when you're, you know, at work or whatever and you just want to customize a car, you get a chance to do it when you don't actually on your game. So, wrap. You have the whole wrap station. So decals can be added, different shapes. So the paint customization could be pretty sweet. They got a bunch of, uh, you know, different sponsors and stuff like that in the game. It looks like we got some other uh, stuff like that. Fat Lace, Drift Games, there we go. So we got a bunch of stuff in here, Rocket Bunny. So the fact that we're going to get a chance to do all this on a mobile device is going to be cool. Liveries are going to be crazy that people are going to just be bored and be doing liveries and stuff like that. So this app is pretty sweet, but now we need to get into uh, you know some customizing. So we got a different splitter. What do we got? We got some Ghost and a Need for Speed splitter. I think I'm going to go with the Need for Speed splitter. Headlights, different color tints. So that's pretty sweet. I think we're going to go with the yellow tint just just because for sake of that front fenders what do we got we got a little carbon lip oh does that do like a whole like it's kind of like a race that's kind of a race one so we're gonna do that so what do we got now we got side skirts different types of side skirts we're gonna go with that one so like I said the fact that we get to sit oh wide body the fact that we get to sit here we're gonna go for the need for speed one and customize the car you know, prior to actually having the game, slight tinted tail light, that's sweet. License plate, oh, we can change it. All right, we'll leave it as heat for right now. What's this, we got hard top on, hard top off. We're definitely gonna go with the hard top on. Personally like the hard top being on. Drag spoiler, a really aggressive racing spoiler. Another aggressive race spoiler, and just a carbon lip. We're gonna do the carbon lip on this car. What do we got diffuser wise? Race diffuser. Nice carbon diffuser, okay, all right. Bumper rear. We got some vents. Does that cut off? That cuts off a lot of stuff. I kind of like the one that cuts it out, so we're gonna go with that. Exhaust, what can we do? So, ooh, we got bazooka pipes. So, like I said, this is just a quick look at this. I know a lot of people are doing this already, and a lot of people are doing it, but, you know, giving you guys my take on this, I kind of like the fact that we get the chance to do this in the game. We're going to leave the factory ones on. So, for wheels, looks like we got different paint sets. We got some nice 3SDM wheels. I kind of like that already. I think we're going to go back to, uh, go back to the black. And it looks like we can change rims for different front and rear from what it looks like. So we do have a bunch of different rim options. So we're gonna just take a look at all these. Three SDM wheels, all right. Definitely love three SDM. Those are sweet. And some nice deep dish, some weld racing wheels, BBSs. And I'm sure we're gonna have a lot more wheels coming when the actual game comes out. Some Cosmos wheels, some 1552s, of course. 
a lot of 1552s. All right, so if you guys love 1552, they have almost every single one of their wheels in this game right now. HRE wheels, one of my favorite types of wheels. We're probably gonna be running some HRE wheels on this vet. Some rotiforms. See, we got a bunch of rotiforms. SSR wheels, there are so many wheels in this game. That's gonna be good for everybody customizing all these cars and wanting to make the car look and be amazing. So this is sweet. So many wheels. We're at weeds now. Works. Let's say work equips in here, that'd be sweet. So I think we're gonna go back up to some HREs. Wherever I can find it. No, I'm gonna go past SSR. Past the rotiforms. There we go. Let's get some nice HRE wheels on here. I say HREs and we go to 1552s. Uh, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Alright, we're gonna go with those for right now. So we're gonna leave that. So we do have those. Apply to all four, yes, so that's pretty sweet. So you can apply it to all four, but we're gonna go back to those HREs, wherever those are. So the customizing thing is pretty sweet, the fact that we get to do this and maximize time if you wanna just sit there and customize the car before you're even around. We're just messing, just getting the tip of the iceberg with this. So if you guys wanna keep seeing some customization here for uh, Need for Speed Heat, let me know down in the comments section down below. We can do a couple. We can do a couple of these a week or something like that. What do we got for hoods? Just got some vents. I think we're done. Oh, front bumper. Aggressive. I think we're gonna leave the factory bumper on there. So that is what we are looking at right now. So we can do tuning stance. So we can. Oh, we can drop it and we can add some camber to it. So. The fact that we get to do all this, that looks amazing. And uh, I kind of want to get this car and actually uh, have this done. It's added to my showroom so I can put it into the game. Just, you know, after when the game actually goes, I will have to log in and save car selection. So, no, we're not going to. We're going to. Maybe later we'll do that. Nope, deny. Oh, wait, there we go. That's pretty sweet. So, I'm super excited about this. Just a glimpse of some of the customizing of this car. So let's go take, let's go back to the showroom, all cars. See what else we can look into. I know we can go into the 240, and we know that's gonna be a big drift build kind of thing, but I'm very curious as to what the i8 has. Seeing as I work for BMW, we're going to take a quick look at the i8. We're going to leave it white. The parts. What do we got? It's a very aggressive lip. Holy time attack. It's, uh, that's aggressive. I don't know if, I don't know how I feel about this, but we're going to kind of go with this. So if you guys... If you guys are using this, let me know. Send me some screenshots. That's aggressively wide. Send me some screenshots of your guys' cars on Instagram. You know, you can find it in the description box below. I don't know what I'm doing with this car right now, but we are going full blown out track car. Just see what we all can do to this. So send me some screenshots of your cars on Instagram. I'd be very curious to see what you guys are coming up with for your cars in this Need for Speed app, because it's actually quite entertaining to uh, to be rocking this stuff. And apparently, we can do we can do paint on our tires too. So definitely gonna be rocking Falcon stuff, and we can do brake discs. All right. So there was some more customizing that I didn't even really get into, and calipers of all different kinds and they actually change it and it does actually change the what it looks like and the numbers and stuff on it. This is definitely uh 
definitely a sweet thing and this game looks like it's going to be definitely crazy those are very aggressive events I have no idea what that bumper is, but we're gonna put it on there just to see what it looks like, and then we're going to drop the car. And of course, camber the front, camber the rear. This is like a aggressively big race car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode on the Need for Speed app. If you guys are enjoying it yourselves, like I said, send me some screenshots, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. More stuff, more content coming with Forza SSR did get postponed next weekend. So that's why you haven't seen SSR battle content. And it got postponed to this coming weekend, this Sunday. So SSR this weekend, we're going to be also working on uh, in the search for an ESDA car. If I'm going to be running C5 or something else. So as always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you slap that like button. As always, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you tap that like button. I do appreciate all the support. And as always, hot me for rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.